What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and in today's video we're going to talk about the biggest crypto news today. If NFTs are overpriced or you should still keep buying them and what is the price prediction for Bitcoin in 2021 and many more. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. So welcome to my computer screen and first of all I want to give a quick look to the overall cryptocurrency market cap and the last day was pretty interesting because we have seen a small drop or a small correction majority of the crypto dropped by five to ten percent which is of course pretty normal in crypto markets after each increase in prices however one thing that i want to talk specifically is theta network i don't know if any of you guys are invested in theta network however i have been investing in theta for quite some time and i just want to give a small celebration for everyone who has invested in theta because it finally reached the top 10 that we all have been talking about and it is crazy how fast this project grew because if we look at the charts just a year ago it was worth less than 18 cents which is crazy and of course theta is an amazing project and i just want to congratulate everyone who was invested in theta and if you are not invested in theta i don't think that that it is too late because this project has a lot of room to grow but overall there wasn't any big changes into crypto markets and that being said let's jump to the first new article and first of all, I want to talk about this. Elon Musk owns 5 billion in Bitcoin collectively claims Anthony Scaramucci, the founder of Skybridge Capital and former White House Director of Communications Anthony Scaramucci made a somewhat surprising statement earlier today saying that Elon Musk owns about 5 billion worth of Bitcoin personally and through his companies because we all know that Tesla bought 1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin earlier this year. However, Skybridge Capital founder took to Twitter to assert that Musk didn't stop with only one Bitcoin purchase for Tesla. Although he failed to provide sources, Karmucha said, I understand that SpaceX owns Bitcoin on its balance sheet. Furthermore, he believes the CEO of Tesla and SpaceX has bought some portions of the cryptocurrency for himself and owns collectively over four five i mean billion dollars through his companies and personally which is amazing in my eyes because that shows that bitcoin adoption is growing and elon musk believes in bitcoin so much that he not only buys it with tesla not only buys it with spacex but buys it personally and also i want to point out that usually rich people such as elon musk or other mega rich people they don't talk about their investments loudly he might be talking about dogecoin but in the end he ends up buying bitcoin because he realizes that bitcoin might be the best store of value for him and most of the mega rich people or most of the traditional institutional investors are gonna say that bitcoin is a scam and a fraud meanwhile they'll be buying bitcoin themselves and a good example of that is morgan stanley which announced that they're gonna be starting funds to allow their investors buy bitcoin these bitcoin funds options look essentially like this in approximately one month morgan stanley will allow its current clients flagged with the high risk tolerance to begin investing in these funds to qualify the clients will need to have at least two million in assets held by morgan stanley have held accounts with the bank for longer than six months and can only invest up to 2.5 percent of their net worth into these funds so basically only mega rich people that have accounts in morgan stanley will be able to invest in bitcoin but this is also good news because people who had no idea how to purchase bitcoin will now have an easy access to invest in it and eventually this is going to drive up the adoption of bitcoin and at the same time the price of bitcoin which takes us to the next news bitcoin searches in turkey spike by 566 percent after turkish lira drops 14 percent 
searches for Bitcoin emanating from Turkey exploded after news broke regarding the 14% plunge in the value of Turkish Lira. Google searches for Bitcoin emanating from Turkey exploded in the past 24 hours after the value of the Turkish Lira dropped by 14% following the firing of a central bank government. Governor. Governor. Oh my God. So if you have heard this news, you probably know that Turkish president fired the governor of central bank without any explanation, which caused the Turkish Lira, the currency of Turkey dropped by 14%. So what happens then? Well, people understand that their money are not safe in traditional markets because it can fluctuate by 14% and presidents can make decisions that can affect their savings and their assets. Therefore, people are turning into Bitcoin into digital gold because they know that Bitcoin can be a great store of value and keep their money safe. And of course, Bitcoin also fluctuates by 14%, by 15%. Hey, it can even drop by 30%. But some of the people still feel safer by investing into crypto than keeping their money into the traditional financial market, which is also very good for Bitcoin adoption in the long run. Of course, I'm sorry for the Turkish people who lost money because Lira dropped by 14%, but that just brings Bitcoin closer to being more mainstream. Another news about Bitcoin is that long-term investors continue to huddle despite 1 trillion Bitcoin market cap. Only 36% of Bitcoin supply has moved in the last six months, down from 50% during the last bull season. And there was a tweet from Glassnode which said, in bull markets, old coins tend to move more. This increased the relative supply of younger coins in the network. At previous Bitcoin tops, around 50% of the Bitcoin supply was younger than six months. And we are currently significantly below this level at 36%. That means that people are moving a lot less money from their wallets into exchanges, which is a good indicator that bull market is not over. Actually, people are holding off to their Bitcoin because they're expecting to see the price increases. And if we compare these two numbers, we are nowhere near to reaching the levels during the previous bull markets and in the end i don't believe that this time we're gonna see such a major drop in bitcoin prices as we did see in 2017 and overall this is a good indicator to see if the bull market is coming to an end or not and by this i can see that only 36 percent of Bitcoin supply has been moved in the last six months, which is amazing because it shows that people are holding and not planning to sell, which in the end is gonna drive up the prices even more. And more news on Bitcoin. Bitcoin price to hit 300,000 this year, suggests Bobby Lee. Bitcoin bull run is just getting started and it could do another 5X surge from here to 300,000. 2021 is a special year for Bitcoin and its price could top 100,000 as soon as this summer, said the founder and CEO of Valid Bobby Lee. He went even further by projecting a 300,000 price per token by the end of the year, but also warned about the potential bear market following every peak. And I can't really argue with this article because I think that this prediction is on point. $100,000 is very realistic by this summer and $300,000 by the end of the year is also very realistic. And of course, I have seen bigger price predictions. People have been saying that Bitcoin is gonna reach 1 million by the end of the year. However, the safe bet is $300,000. And I think that there is not gonna be any issue for Bitcoin to reach this price. However, now let's jump to the today's probably one of the most interesting news for me and nfts absolutely in a bubble says people following the record 69 million sale people the artist who sold his nft for a whopping 69 million recently says that nft prices are absolutely in a bubble Mike Winkleman, who is also known as Beeple, especially in the cryptocurrency community, believes that non-fungible tokens are in a 
state of bubble. In a recent interview, he stated, I absolutely think it's a bubble to be quite honest. I go back to analogy of the beginning of the internet. There was a bubble and a bubble burst. However, he also said that this didn't wipe out the internet and so the technology itself is strong enough where I think it is going to outlive that. And I completely 100% agree with people on this. Right now, I believe that NFTs are in a huge bubble and NFT prices were driven up because people were buying NFTs not because of the art but because they expected to get some profits off of it. And also, as this article states, some believe that NFT market is definitely inflated while others support the thesis that pricing art is highly subjective and might justify the high valuations. Uh, so yeah, pricing art is highly subjective, but I believe that NFT prices increased by so much, not because people were investing in art or because people were buying art. The prices rose so fast and so high because people were buying NFTs in order to make money off of them. They weren't buying to look at the art their main goal was to make money and i can compare this exactly with 2017 bitcoin bubble yes bitcoin has proven to be a good store of value and at that time some people knew that however majority of the people weren't buying bitcoin because they understand bitcoin but they were buying bitcoin because they thought that it is an easy way to make money and i believe it is the same situation with nfts or any nft related coins personally i don't have any nfts or nft related tokens or coins or any project that I invested that are related to NFTs because first of all I was too late to jump on this train and second of all I think that NFTs are in a huge bubble so right now I have no plans of jumping into the NFT market and buying any of them myself however once the price drops and it corrects itself I think it is gonna be a good time to get some of them because in the end nfts are amazing and i believe they have huge potential especially in the gaming industry i think there are so many things that you can do with it and it can be an amazing investment in the long run but looking at the short term nfts are in a bubble and of course that is my opinion you could think quite the opposite and still be buying nfts and that is up to you but overall I don't have any holdings of NFTs or NFT related coins. So that being said, I hope that you enjoyed this video, caught up with the news and got some ideas on how further act in this bull market in 2021. Don't forget to like this video, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like that. And of course, see you in the next one.